In this video, we will talk about the generative fill feature in Photoshop Beta. Photoshop just introduced the biggest update it's ever had, which is completely mind-blowing and one of the biggest updates in the world of AI. By using new AI a powered generator fill in Photoshop allows you to generate realistic objects in any background. Remove complex objects from your photos. Systematically extend the images by adding realistic details. And generate the amazing new backgrounds in a few seconds. In this video, I will show you how to get this update and how to use it. So, let's get started. First of all open your Creative Cloud app. We need to download the beta app, so click the Creative Cloud apps. Click on the beta apps section. You can see the Photoshop beta version. Click on the install button. I have already installed it. In the first step, we will see how you can create things that are not even there yet. So let's get started. We need to create the selection in the specific part that you want to change or add new attributes in the background. I will choose the lasso tool. You can use any selection tool that you like for selection. Select the area that you want to change or add new attributes. Now you can see that contextual taskbar next to the selection. If you don't get this, then go to the window menu and enable the contextual taskbar. Click on Generative Fill. Now you can enter your prompt. In the prompt, you have to compulsory use the English. I have added snowy mountains as a prompt. Click on Generate to replace that area with new attributes. It will take some time to generate. I am speeding up this process to save some time. AI created realistic snowy mountains. Photoshop matches the lighting, color, perspective, and every other thing that makes its composite realistic. Now look at the result and how it works. All things are generated on a new layer. When generative fills are active, you can see in the properties panel that you can get a couple of different options. Also prompt that you have used. If you do not like the first version, then you can see what the other variations of it are. You can keep the one you like best. If you are still unhappy with these three results, then click on the Generate button. That will add three more variations to the Properties panel. You can see Photoshop will not remove the old three versions that you have already created, so you can choose what you like from all variations. Still, you can change your prompt in the Property panel. Change your prompt and click on Generate. That will generate the new variation as per new prompt that you have added. In the Property panel, you can see a couple of different options. Now I will add a ship on the water. Let's see how the AI will give us an amazing result in this. So select the part of the background in which you want to add new attributes. Click on Generative Fill. Type the prompt. Click on Generate. It will take some time to generate. See the amazing result given by AI. In the second step, we will see how you can easily remove any complex object from your image in a few seconds. I am using the lasso tool for selection. But you can use any tool that you like. You don't want to make a precise selection. Click on Generative Fill. After that from the contextual taskbar, click on Generate with an empty prompt. It will take some time to generate. That will remove any complex objects from the background. Again, look at the multiple variations of the images. Choose which one you like more. In the third step, we will see another amazing feature is that you can seamlessly extend the images by adding realistic details. Press C to use the Crop tool. You can expand the canvas to change the dimension of the image. Then press Enter. Now take the Rectangular Marquee tool. Select one side of the image as shown in the video. Make sure that in your selection you include a tiny portion of the original image. Hold Shift and select the other side of the image. Click on Generative Fill. Leave the box empty. 
and click on the Generate button. It will take some time to generate. It will automatically fill the blank area, and the result is amazing. Again, look at the multiple variations of the images. Choose which one you like more. In the fourth step, we will see how you can easily change the background of any image in a few seconds. So we need to select the object from our background. I am using subject selection to select the object. You can use any selection method to select the subject. Invert the selection, so click on the invert button. Click on generative fill. Now type the prompt. In my case, I need a classroom, so I have added it to the prompt. Then click on generate, which will automatically change the background as per your prompt. It will take some time to generate. And the result is amazing. Again, look at the multiple variations of the images. Choose which one you like more. Now, in the last step, it might be the most impressive option in this Photoshop, so zoom out the image so we can extend the canvas. I choose the crop tool to extend the background. Extend the canvas at the bottom side. I have made the image longer so I can get a whole different size image. You can see there is nothing at the bottom of the images. Now see if this time AI will surprise you or not. Now take the rectangular marquee tool and select the bottom part of the image. Click on Generative Fill. Leave the box empty. Click on Generate. That will automatically generate complex bottom parts of images in a few seconds. This time also the result is amazing. Again, look at the multiple variations of the images. Choose which one you like more. If you liked the my video then hit like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get a notification on every new video on my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. You can also watch other tutorials on my channel.